And congratulations on the film. Um, I saw the play when it was in the West End. I was really fascinated to see how it had been a adapted. Um, did you get to see the play yourself? Do you know what? I'm gutted to say that I didn't. No, I was out of the country, I think, filming Hunger Games when it was all happening. Um, but, no, I mean, it's one of those things that you, you couldn't help but hear the buzz in, around London, especially within this industry, um, you know, that was sort of constantly spoken about and everyone was sort of saying how amazing it was, that, that it was sort of... A great sort of ensemble performances you know it's 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 one of those yeah I think I'll forever <laughs> go down as one of my biggest regrets never managing to catch it but. and what was your reaction to Laura Wade's screenplay when it reached you well I mean because I hadn't even read the script of, of the play you know so it was my first sort of introduction to this world you know really uh, it's it's very rarely do we have the opportunity to kind of get an insight into this this sort of into this uh, sort of class so uh, you know, for me, it was it was definitely eye opening. <laughs> Can't deny, but I definitely started reading it thinking it was a comedy and it was going to be a comedy. And people had seen the play and said that the, the songs in it were funny. So I, I just thought it was a comedy. And then it, it you know, there's the the, the shift. The uh, it changes gears and it really goes in a different way. And I think that was what really interested me. Um, so, I, you know, I, I fell in love with first sight, basically. And how would you describe your character, Alistair, when he first arrives at university? Quite an overbearing father, for one thing. Yeah, he's, he's a tortured soul. Um, you know, he, he, you can kind of understand, you kind of imagine. I'm glad you sort of picked up on the father. Like, it's, he's not loved by his parents, um, like so many of these kids are. Like, but so many kids in all different sort of walks of life are. Um, but, you know, he, he sort of sent away to boarding school, as you can imagine, from a very young age and sort of had to sort of learn to fend for himself. But by in doing so, he, he you know, he's, he's, a, he's a very heady character. He's very much sort of focused on the intellectuals and, um, and books. Um, but, you know, really, he, he's, he's, he's a bit of a loner. He's not, he's not a social socialite. And... He struggles in his first couple of weeks at university, and until he kind of meets the riot club and they offer him an umbrella and uh, like a protection, I guess, um, he he is nobody, and he all of a sudden is allowed to become a somebody for the first time in his life. So you know, it's it's quite. It was a really interesting journey for me, I think. And Laura Wade um, has spoken about um, how difficult it was for her to get to speak to people who are members of clubs such as like the, the Riot Club. Were you able to speak to anyone for your own research? I, I wasn't personally, but I know that a lot of the other guys were, so they all kind of reported back to me. Um, I mean, there, there was, a, there was a, a young lord, I believe, or an earl, um, who we met, me and Douglas met at Eton College, and just kind of getting an insight into a younger version that, of someone who could easily probably walk straight into the Bullingdon Club or the Riot Club, but you know, it, that was really eye-opening and he kind of gave us a little insight into what it was like at Eton College. Um, you know, it, it was quite literally, this whole this whole experience for me was, was, was you know, so, so, it's, it's, it's a phrase we're so sort of familiar with, seeing how the, uh, how the other half live. And for me, you know, my upbringing, my, my whole lifestyle up until this point had been all about the lower classes. Um, and so this is really eye-opening for me. It was really, really great. Sam Claflin, thanks very much. Thank you very much.